You are home from school due to a mild fever. You get a message notification. Your cousin has forwarded a Times of India article reporting a warning issued by the health ministry against taking paracetamol. A 14-year-old boy Mihir died in Indore that morning from paracetamol poisoning. Reading this, you panic. You took paracetamol just 2 hours ago. Pause. Let's dig deeper. Is the message even real? Step 1. Check the source. A double arrow on the top left. This means it's been forwarded many times. That's suspicious. Check the website URL. Is it really the Times of India? No. Any reporter? No. So, the source is odd. Step 2. Content check. Read beyond the headline. The details seem a little vague, don't they? No quotes and several spelling and grammar errors. Step 3. Verify. Is there any warning on the ministry's website or their social media? No. Search online using keywords to track coverage. Nothing. So, it's definitely fake news and you should report it. Select the message and tap the report button. Don't forget to notify your cousin that the message is fake and she shouldn't circulate it further. Congratulations! You prevented the circulation of fake news and safeguarded your health.